time in as the headmistress of private preschool Wonderland in Vietnam's capital city of Hanoi. Miss Min is in charge of planning morning and lunchtime meals for over 60 children. She agrees nutrition and exercise is a very important part of a child's development. But feeding children at school has not always been allowed. Nutrition has only become partly the school's responsibility in the last decade, as the government have tightened regulation on exercise and nutrition. Um. Parents, as well as society, pay close attention to the height development of children. So, ten years ago, kindergartens didn't let children drink milk. But now they do, so children are entitled to a portion of milk for each child. So they drink a lot of milk while at school, and the parents also give the children a lot of milk to drink. Miss Min also acknowledged that the Vietnamese are increasingly becoming aware, both at school and at home, of the importance of feeding their young people a balanced and varied diet to grow tall and healthy. And within the protein nutrition group, people pay close attention to calcium, so every day, school will let children have food which contains calcium, such as fish, shrimp and crab. In previous years, people haven't really paid attention to children's height. Over the last 10 years, people start to change their thinking, and that is one of the most important factors. Miss Min has only noticed a small improvement in children's height, but hopefully, with increasing awareness of the importance of nutrition and exercise, the Vietnamese will be able to achieve new heights. <laughs>